What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Build Tune Race. Today we're finally kind of turning that corner and heading back together with the car. For the most part, there's still a few little things that need to be like worked on and stuff done before it's all brand new and all moving forward. So I actually ordered in some of this lizard skin. I've talked about it in the other videos. And I think per Alex and I's math, we're gonna be a little short. This does about 25 square foot per our guesstimation. Uh, firewall to about the back of the roll cage, which is kind of where I was gonna go originally but I think I'm gonna take it all the way to the back of the car and all that stuff. So I'll probably order another one. And then if I cover the tank, the ice fuel water tank, probably order another one. What we did today is just kind of keep sanding, sanding, cleaning any little spots. And now what I'm doing is wiping the whole car down with some acetone. So I've just been taking my rag with acetone and just kind of wiping the surface. We blew the car out a bunch already. Made a big old dust storm. And now Alex is working on taping off the bars, kind of just, just got some of this, uh, paper and we're just kind of covering the bars up so we don't get a bunch of that stuff on the bars because then later on we want to come back and just put like a, a regular black on the bars we don't want a textured black this lizard skin they come with two different um, kits this is the ceramic and then they have the sound deadening so I assume this does a little bit of sound deadening not near as much but then the ceramic is mostly what I wanted so with coating the firewall and the tunnel where all the heat would come through. I'm hoping that this knocks down the heat because I don't plan on running insulation or carpet in the car or anything like that. It's kind of like, you know, a, uh, a vinyl vehicle, but this would just be like this type of coating. And then I'll throw some like rubber mats down for where your feet are and that type of thing. Keep it thin, keep it simple. Cause man, when we pulled that carpet out before it was super, super heavy, but I also just don't want a raw floor in the car either. We do need it protected and a little bit of heat barrier would be perfect. So we were just talking to Trevor and he says, are you gonna spray some primer? And earlier, uh, Alex was reading and says, if you have bare metal spray primer, I was like, yeah, probably, I don't know. So, you know, I guess uh, we've came this far, might as well go grab a little bit of primer, spray the bare metal spots, scuff them up, and then let it rip. So headed to the parts store. So we just got done at O'Reilly -O 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 and uh, we got some sandable primer and some filler sandable primer so alex loves primer <laughs> really he's a big big spray can guy huh alex sure. yeah see that's what he said right there you heard it <laughs> got no time to waste we gotta get this shit shook up before we get back to the house drive by the cold weather is rolling in truck, yeah i got nice. cut off by this electric rivian he's about ready to go spray paint this thing it almost got like a spray paint color on it though what are you doing Spray can Alex in the flesh. <laughs> so we've been making some progress, getting it all sprayed in here. A couple coats on where the body filler was at. Definitely soaks that stuff up pretty quick. Ceramic coating kind of was its own like etching and sealing and all that, but maybe not. Uh, supposedly you need the primer. So we're hitting all the bare metal spots with primer and I'll scotch bright it with scotch bright pad. And then, then we might be ready to spray that stuff right after we get done taping off all the rest of the bars like those over there a little bit of primer on these bars no big deal because it's going to get painted anyway at some point but uh the textured stuff on the bars would be no point having to draft some air out get rid of all the haziness from the spray paint but also trying not to let all the dang heat out because it's supposed to maybe snow down. needed a way to uh fill up the seat belt holes and stuff we don't want painted alex is like what about using the earplugs so using some milwaukee earplugs to help seal this stuff off so we don't mess up the threads otherwise we got all that taped off i just scotch brighted all the primer so we're almost almost ready maybe probably not but we're close kind of all right so everything is taped off primered down scotch brighted and re-wiped everything down now here's the predicament it's like nice and warm in the shop got a t-shirt on it's raining outside and it's supposed to get to 22 tonight. I do have the heater. I can leave it on at night. It kind of worries me, but it's plenty warm right now. And for the next like week, it's going to be cold. So I pretty much need to get it down at least what I can. Like, I think I'm going to run out probably about on this bar here, but get down what I can and then leave the heater on as long as I can. Let it cure the best I can and hope for the best because I mean, I got to get this stuff in here to keep moving forward. If not, I'm going to be set back like two weeks and that's just not going to work. So, uh, just got to get after it and hope for the best here. So I went ahead and ordered the lizard skin kit. Comes with the gauge, the mixer, and then the gun to shoot it with. Then somewhere in here, I think it says 50 to 70 PSI on the pressure. And then we got the fitting there. 
And then of course the lizard skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this lid open, grab the mixer, grab my drill, get that thing mixed up. It says to mix it till it's smooth, consistent. And then I guess you pour it in this your canister and let it rip. I should probably actually get some water in a little jug close by so I can rinse off like the mixer and all that before I like go to spray and try to make sure I got everything I need in, in that sense. And I'm not sure if I do. Definitely read through these units just like this up here, how to set the nozzle. So from the factory, it comes bottomed all the way out. So you gotta be able to adjust it. So then uh, you get the correct setup. If not, you just plug it in and start going. It's probably not gonna work so well. An adjust air compressor to deliver 55 to 70 PSI while trigger optimum air pressure. So already did that. It sounds aggressive, but all good. Trying out the new air compressor tonight. So what I'm gonna do is I got the car up in the air. I'm gonna start with up under the dash because then if I goof anything up, nobody will ever see it. All right, I think here we go. I got kind of a makeshift bucket of water. Pop the lid off, stir it up. And be ready to spray. All right, so it's super super thick and i barely got about a little over a quarter in there but i'm gonna try that letting it sit next to the heat i mean it's plenty warm in the shop but man is this stuff thick so i'm gonna give it a try and then worst case scenario just keep working it to get it in there all right here we go not sure what we're gonna get but we're gonna get something or maybe nothing <laughs> It's a mess. I stepped in it, but I already cleaned it up. Cleans up super, super easy with water and rag. So, gonna lower the car. Keep on spraying. I'm totally winging it on the thickness. I'm just kind of going until it looks completely coated and not too thick in any spot. So right as I see it kind of completely get coated, then I stop right about there. So might be giving up a little bit on the uh, ceramic part, but then gaining a little bit on the coverage, but we'll see how it goes. All right, mid spray update. There's only a few spots that actually kind of look wet like that. The rest of it looks pretty dry as it's going down. I know it's not, but it's not super like wet looking, kind of like some of it. Looking on the mill gauge, I'm pretty thin, but thinking about it, really where I want it thick is on the firewall, which I checked it, I was close. Through here, I'm pretty thin, but under a seat and stuff like that, not as big a deal, not as much heat through here. So I might be able to coat most of the floor a lot thinner because I'm not actually looking for the heat properties other than around transmission and like firewall, stuff like that. You do have a little bit of, you know, heat coming off the road and stuff like that on these dragon drives. So some there will help, but it's also not near as important as where the hot stuff is at. Well, guys, I actually was able to pretty much finish up the entire thing. And man, I think it looks pretty, pretty killer. I think it came out really, really sweet. You still see a little bit of striping. Hopefully that'll go away when it dries. But otherwise, guys, got it all the way done. And if you recall, I said we probably only get to about here. Well, after looking at it, they recommend 40 mils thick. That's two coats at 20 mils. I think I'm right around that 20 mil mark on the first coat. It's almost hard to go too thick. You start seeing it like clump up and get wet in like a kind of an area. So, I mean, it actually looks like it dries pretty quick, but it's super soft. You can like bump it and it'll, it'll smear and everything like that. But uh, I think it looks amazing. I still have probably two inches in that bucket. So, I mean, I'm super happy. I could always come back and second coat the firewall if I want. 
I did spray a little extra thick on the tunnel and firewall just to help with some of that heat. I got a bit of a mess with water, but more or less, just cleaned everything with water, ran a bunch of water through the gun, wiped off the mixer and put everything back in the bucket that's left over. But otherwise guys, that is lizard skinning the interior of the Camaro. And I think it looks super good. Kind of almost OEM style-ish, like nothing crazy. When you just look into the car, it just looks good. Looks nice and clean. Helps the white pop on the outside. Everything with the modified tunnel here and back there. I mean, I think it really came along pretty good. It helps hide some, but you can still see like where the, you know, the spot welds and stuff are where I ground some of that stuff off. But I mean, I'm not gonna complain one bit. I think it looks awesome. Super easy to run. I was kind of nervous at first reading all the instructions and all that crap, but as you guys can see, it came out really, really good. It's really easy to control up the gun and it blows pretty well. So I can try to keep as much heat in the shop as I can tonight. I really don't want to run it all night because I don't want to risk a fire or any of that. So I'm trying to get the heat up as much as I can and then I guess I'll just let it sit for a day or two. Don't touch the interior and really make sure that it cures on its own. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and like it for me if you would. It really helps the video get pushed to new people. And now guys, we're finally making that corner where everything's gonna be kind of going back together with the Camaro. So uh, this is hopefully the point where we start really seeing some progress with this thing. And uh, I'm not working on weeks of metal and weld and grind and weld and grind. So can't wait for the next video because I'm excited because I get to keep moving and we're gonna put this engine in there real, real soon. So see you guys next time.